Welcome to the Minneapolis Sailing Center's new monthly education series for our members. Today we will be focusing on the basics of right-of-way when two vessels under sail power meet. This includes windsurfers. Basic sail versus sail right-of-way can be broken down into three questions you ask yourself in this order. Opposite tack, same tack, and clear ahead, clear astern. In this video we will be discussing the rules that apply to these three categories. First, we will discuss opposite tack, or port first starboard. To determine what tack you're on, you need to figure out what side of your vessel is the windward side. The windward side is the side of the boat the wind hits first. In this case, the port side, so this boat is on a port tack. What tack is this boat on? A starboard tack. To determine what tack you are on when going downwind, figure out what side of the boat is opposite the boom. This will determine what tack you're on. This boat, the starboard side, is opposite of the boom, therefore a starboard tack. The rule, starboard tack, is the right-of-way vessel over port tack. Which vessel has the right-of-way in this situation? The blue vessel. Blue is on a starboard tack and yellow is on a port tack. Let's see what options port has to avoid starboard. In this example, port tack boat ducks the starboard tack boat, passes to their stern. In this example, the port tack boat is just going to tack to be parallel with the starboard tack boat. Which vessel has the right of way here? We have yellow going upwind on a close hull, and we have blue heading downwind on a broad reach. Yellow. Yellow's on the starboard tack. Blue is on the port tack. Here are some examples of what the port tack boat can do in this situation. Here they bear away to avoid the starboard tack boat. In this example, they are going to head up and pass in front of the starboard tack boat. These examples represent common ways to avoid the right-of-way vessel. Which vessel has the right-of-way in this situation? Both boats are heading downwind on a broad reach. The yellow boat has the right-of-way. They are on a starboard. Blue is on port. The port tack boat can jibe to avoid the starboard tack boat. The port tack boat can head up and pass aft of the starboard tack boat. Remember the rule, starboard tack is the right-of-way vessel over port. Let's talk about the same tack, windward versus leeward. When you are on the same tack as another vessel, you must now figure out what vessel is windward and which vessel is leeward. In this diagram, the wind hits the red vessel first and the blue vessel second. This makes red the windward boat and blue the leeward boat. What's the rule? The leeward vessel has right-of-way when two boats meet on the same tack. Which vessel has the right-of-way in this situation? The blue vessel has the right-of-way. Blue is leeward and red is windward. Let's look at some common ways the windward boat can avoid the leeward. In this example, the windward ducks to the stern of the leeward vessel. In this example, the windward boat is going to tack to avoid. Here we have the windward boat just heads up parallel to leeward. What's the rule? The leeward is the right-of-way vessel over windward. Now we come to our final category. Clear ahead and clear astern. In this diagram, notice the purple boat is on the same tack and wind line as the teal. Because purple's bow has not overlapped teal's stern, they are clear astern. More will be discussed on overlap in next month's video on rules of the road on the race course. What's the rule? Clear ahead boat has a right of way over the clear astern. Which vessel is clear ahead 
and clear astern in this example. Teal has the right of way. Teal is clear ahead and purple is clear astern. Let's see some examples on how clear astern can avoid clear ahead. In this example, clear astern heads up. In this example, the clear astern bears away. A relatively easy one to think of. Remember the rule, clear ahead has a right of way over clear astern. Thanks for watching this Rules of the Road presentation from the Minneapolis Sailing Center for our membership program. We thank you all so much for being a part of our sailing community here on Bernay Bacasca, and we'll see you next time out on the water.